thing you're doing this is chin mein and uh, in this video i'm going to uh, like explain or i'm going to share how i set up the anvim with a uh, lazy vim in my new macbook uh, pro m3 max 16 inch so i can uh, develop my application better with vim i still use vs code but vs code uh, is taking so much memory with its extension so uh, sometimes I, I feel like it, it's, it's not good because uh, the amount of memory VS Code is taking it is it's not necessary basically so uh, I think I should use uh, Vim so let me tell you like how how I uh, how I am using a lazy Vim basically so what you need to do to use lazy vim you need to go to the lazy vim website which is this where you can uh, do this where is this installation you just have to go to where, like if you are you if you are in your home directory then you have to check if you are having a folder you're not having the folder dot config then what you need to do you on your home directory what, what you can do you can do like mkdir dot config i'm just like i'm already having it so i'm going to like send it so yeah now you can enter dot config Create that folder. Go to that folder. Here you have to create folder called nvim, and then if you are having nvim, then to that nvim folder you have to clone this this demo. So like, hit clone the rep address and then this dot uh, config dot nvim. Okay. Now once you do this, just just like a uh, cd into the and here yeah, and do get uh, rm hyphen rf dot get if you will do this it will by default remove the original legivim uh, git remote address that now is not mine i have already done this so yeah so once you do you do this you are almost okay to use and web uh, lazy vim because it is like ready to use but there are a lot a, lo a, lo a lot of things you can uh, uh, customize about it like first of all if i tell you i can customize it uh, for your custom key maps or the plugins which means like color scheme and all so talk about the color scheme so to customize the color scheme you have to do good enter to the Vim, open it. Uh, okay, and then go to the Lua folder, then uh, plugins folder, then create a new file, uh, color scheme Lua, and then here you have to enter this. Whatever color scheme you, you want to use, you, can, you have to just install it here and then you can use it this line is responsible for applying the color scheme to the lazy vim and then talk unite if i do lose fine so i change it if i go out now if i go out and if I go in, then yeah this is could not load your color scheme for Okay, 
and and if, 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 if you have to set your custom key mapping then you have to create an, a, 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 another file there in the plugin called not plugin in the config which is key maps dot lua if you by default when you ins ins install this you, you you won't be having all, all this so you have to do it by yourself like you don't get any of these files the key maps and all you have to really uh, create it and like if you have it then okay but if you don't have it then you have to create it just like that's how it, it works basically so i've done it already key maps i i've done this basically i just set the full pc key binding so moving the cursor in the window so if i want to go to the like this uh, file explorer i have to press space and l uh, space uh, space and h to go left space and l to go uh, right so left right left right left right so here you can set your custom key bindings that i'm not using this is like by default lazy dot well, you usually have to touch it more over time okay then uh, if you want to add your own custom plugins like i have added this auto save so whatever the plugin you want to in install like for an ex example uh, like you want to install auto save auto save and vim so go to that auto save and vim and then basically you can install it this way you have to just take this inside your Scheme, see, Masa, Nerdtree, I'm using Nerdtree also. And when being not notified, just I'm using it to disable uh, notifications and the tree seed tree also. Okay. So, whatever the plugin you want to install, you just have to uh, do it here in the plugins folder. So, it seems like pretty, is pretty much fine to use ReziVim as. Lazy Vim is like ready to use, so you don't have to do much uh, about it. So, yeah. If you want to use like my setup, like as it is, and you don't want to do anything by yourself, like the color scheme and some tree seeder, like Go language setup and the TypeScript server setup, then you can just use it uh, my level. So just feel free to use it. Like if I try to put some color scheme, color scheme for anyway. Let's try to install a new one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Kanagawa, okay. I I do live in Kanagawa Prefecture, so let, let, let's try this. It's like updated two days ago. Okay. So I have to install this Kanagawa. Use the blood Kanaga when we okay, fine. Let's try Use it. If I, if I can, I'm not an NBIM like lazy inside a pro, but uh, I, I can try to uh, do the things. So is the blood. Kanagawa.nvim okay. First, let's try to install it. Okay, it's ready getting it's installed. If it's correct, okay, yeah, it's getting installed. If it's getting installed, then plugins, color scheme, uh, and just like try to set a new one called. Uh, Okay, yeah, it's working. Perfectly fine. So it's working. Okay, let's try to open some uh, real world project. I 
made for our MacBook, which I'm currently using to, home, to monitor the uh, battery when I'm charging my MacBook. As soon as it gets charged up to 80%, it just gives me a sound notification and I can quickly remove my charger or it will keep sending me alert or sound alert, uh, like until I'm not removing the charger. So that's what. So you can with the space and E you can close it. Oh, by the way, you can see all the key bindings from here. If you are not familiar with key maps, so you can see. So in general, if you want to see key binding for like, see like LSP, buffer line, like the space. The, okay, so is the new tree. If I oops, press letter E, it will like. It will come back, go up, come back, go back. So it's a rooty. Okay. If I want to like LSP, like find some files, so I have to do LSP. Um, this one actually like there's like telescope, I think, to find files. I think. So try to. Well, if I press letter and FF, I can. Search for any any file. Let me dot go. I can go to it. If there is any uh, 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 another file, I can go to the drive as well. <coughs> so yeah. So here you can do. But uh, as of now, it's not getting me the auto completion for the GoLand. But uh, somehow it, it should. And I, I, I don't know how to set up it, but I will find out a way to set up it. Then I'll let you know. Uh, by the way, uh, this is how, uh, if I show you this application. This is how it, it's working. It gives me this. As soon as I start monitoring, it is giving me the current battery level and the charging is false. If I plug, if I plug in the charger, it will get true. And then as soon as it will get 80, it will give me an notification. I can stop monitoring. It's not monitoring at all, and I I created this using Go and a UI library called Fine, Fine, Fine. I don't know. So uh, here, this this is the custom uh, this UIB dot. I downloaded it and then I'm using it here. So that's how it is giving me notification, and this is the get battery status and all. So like pretty much like. Uh, I'm using OS and Go like together. So yeah. Same. So let's try to open uh, another project of like uh, <coughs> JavaScript or, or something. Okay, now. Yeah. Perfect. This is hmm, this. Here it will give me like all the auto completion for the type script. This okay. uh, okay. Like if I do don't use that one yet. So okay. So yes, give me everything. So this is like you don't have to do anything by yourself. Everything is like already done here. So it's, it's nice by the way. Lazy VM is nice. You can do the commands with UI and then you can like just, just go to here. Okay, it will give me like TypeScript, TypeScript warning also. If I go, go to file space FF, I'm go, I, I don't want to go to uh, app.tef. Yes, it's, it's quite fast. Now, if I want to go to the uh, item file, like uh, event, okay, event state, something. Yeah, I'm going to go to here. I want the calendar, like the calendar header. So 
click on go to the calendar header. Yes, calendar header. If I want to go to the day, if I want to go to the month, yeah, day and month. So that is quite fast. It's quite fast. using which key plugin which you can refer from here which key and when so like very UI way of having key shortcuts create a keyword that is strict so it's like especially to be new web so they're using which key so if you press space you, you, you get all these options then you can do like uh, thank you if you press Q ask you like quit all or restore last session on so you get q so basically to exit is like space q q okay so this was a like basic very very easy and very uh, fast setup of uh, lazy web for your mac or windows whatever it is like it works well with mac but i don't know how it will work with uh, windows okay one more thing you have to use the latest updated version of uh, nvim so you have to be careful about that other day i was trying to use this so you can select okay we install nvim on mac and one you can select uh, the blog some time but it will give you a latest version of nvim with something like uh, with, 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 with the setup where you can easily can use a lazy beam because lazy beam requires a latest setup of nvim so yeah yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, next in next video we will try to do some code not the setup thing this video